Thank you for staying tuned. Our co-working is redefining the future of work. Globally, over one million people work in co-working spaces and the numbers keep growing. Last year, Nigeria's first ever co-working conference held in Lagos. The conference unboxed the opportunities and benefits in co-working. And now, the global co-working conference is ongoing in Denver, Colorado. Joining us now is the co-founder and the CEO Box Office Hub a pioneer of the co-working movement in Nigeria, doing at Dewala. He's attending this conference in Colorado, and he joins us now. Hello, Mr. Adewala. Thank you very much um, for joining us on the show. Thank you, Chimede, for having me. So what discussions are the participants at this conference having around the issue of co-working? Okay. Um, co-working means um, different things to many people. Um, but for this um, time at this, discuss, at this um, conference, it's about technology, how we can leverage on technology to improve our work in workplaces, and also about um, the different um, ways we can collaborate. Um, like you said, um, the Global Co-working Conference in Denver brings together experts from across um, the world together. And so what's important is that we can become more productive um, with the use of um, co-working in our businesses. Okay, now here and I, okay, go ahead, go ahead. So it's really much about how we can improve on what we're doing. Um, like I said, technology is a big thing for us um, in co-working, and so um, that also helps us to cut across um, boundaries um, because now there are different, um, different means by which people can work. Um, work has now been digitalized. Um, work is now virtual. Um, work, um, due to the penetration of um, digital devices, is now becoming more nomadic. And so people are getting to work more, um, moving away from the traditional offices to co-working. And so those are the kind of discussions we're having at the Global Co-working Conference in Denver. Mm. Yeah, here in Nigeria, co-working frenzy has gripped most of the cities, particularly uh, Lagos. Now, yeah, do, you see, well. do you see this as a game changer for startups and emerging businesses? Very well. Um, co-working is very attractive to startups and small businesses for two reasons, um, or three reasons rather. Um, the first is that it is a way to guarantee success in business because what it means is that you find other innovative business owners in the community. You can share ideas with. There's a lot of collaboration, a lot of mentorship, a lot of idea sharing. And at the heart of co-working is um, community building because what it means is that if you come into that kind of environment, you take ownership of what everybody's doing and what is happening. Beyond um, entrepreneurship growth is also flexibility. Um, the, the way we rent in Nigeria is different from how rent is, is done across the world. And so co-working guarantees flexibility. Co-working guarantees affordability. I'm sure you know that if you, if you want to pay your rent in Nigeria, you'll have to pay rent um, annually. But co-working these days now ensures that you can get an office space or a workspace. Um, you can get a day pass, you can get a week pass or a month pass. That in itself helps entrepreneurs to mm. reduce their risk. Right. And thirdly, it's, um, it's about um, networking. Like You need to connect with other people to grow your business. So I think it's a game changer um, for business climate in Nigeria. Now, is there any difference between this co-working you know, co space and right. what we have always known or what we always hear as clusters? Uh, so <laughs> uh, you could cluster across any industry. Um, an example is Area 10, uh, where you call UTC in Abuja, where a lot of printing activities go uh, happen. And that's like an economic cluster for printing. And so... Clusters could happen for any industry. It could be a food court, it could be a fashion hub, it could be for any industry. But co-working in itself is attractive to um, service-oriented businesses, tech, um, tech um, startups, um, programmers. Um, in a co-working space, it's difficult for you to merchandise. Um, a cluster, you could do anything you want. You could do fashion, you could do printing, you could do agri, you could be an agro business cluster. But co-working spaces is specifically for um, service-oriented businesses and also for, um, it's not for merchandising, so it's a bit different from clusters, but a co-working is a form of economic cluster. All right. Thank you very much um, for your time um, doing uh, the one. I'm sure um, over time we'll have enough time to talk more about this co-working business of a thing. Enjoy your stay in Colorado. Well, it's earning season and the market seem to be seeing the results of um, players. Let's talk to Temple Ashaju at the Stock Exchange. Hello, Temple. 
Good afternoon. Well, it seems the market is already, you know, um, reacting positively to the earnings coming in. We have Access Bank, we have Zenit Bank, and a lot of them there. And just by way of addition, we actually have a Guarantee Trust Bank as well. Guarantee Trust Bank came in a few minutes ago. I haven't really seen those numbers, but I know that by way of reaction, we've seen some uh, 8 million units of shares of uh, Guarantee Trust Bank are uh, very well traded so far in the market. Uh, but to talk about Access Bank and Zenith Bank. Uh, these two key companies have actually uh, dropped their earnings. They were the first, uh, of course, uh, to actually drop their uh, Q1 uh, 2019 numbers. Uh, for Access Bank, it's looking very, very impressive due to the fact that they made some good gains from investments and securities. Uh, in, uh, uh, that, that also really, really uh, showed up their performance of their interest income uh, for this period. And of course, uh, it grew to some 25 billion Naira, uh, moving up from 4 billion Naira if you compare to Q1 uh, 2018. And of course, that's really, really uh, a plus for them. For their, for their FX trading, it was also really, really positive for Access Bank. And of course, the fact that we saw some 30% growth in um, uh, uh, their, their uh, loan book is a plus to them as well. So you've gotten, you've gotten some good reactions from traders now on this particular company in the market. Around 31 million units of Access Bank shares have been traded uh, so far today in the market. And of course, it remains the most actively traded in the system. Uh, for Zenith Bank, uh, that has a bit of a poor top line, but if you look at quite a number of the other mat metrics, they look so good. There's a decline in the impairment charges. Uh, there's also uh, some kind of uh, an improvement uh, in the, in, uh, except for the fact that there's a bit of a, a slowdown in their FX transaction uh, this time by some 4 point something percent. Uh, but it's not a bad result as it were. Zenith Bank is one particular company that a lot of people are very, very bullish on. And of course, investors continue to uh, maintain their confidence in this particular company uh, for this point in time. The profit before tax is good. The profit after tax is also very, very good. And of course, a whole lot of other metrics in this regarding uh, Zenith Bank is very good. So right now, it's up some 0.47%. Uh, uh, and I still see it going higher uh, before the close of the trading day. Trading income for this particular company was down by some 72% uh, uh, from, uh, from 27 billion naira to 7.8 uh, billion naira. That seems for me to be another downside for Zenith Bank. But with this kind of uh, posture that uh, Zenith Bank is uh, pushing to investors, it's, I see it as an opportunity, just like a lot of other investors actually see it as an opportunity uh, to actually key in, possibly ahead of the uh, Q2 2019, where the numbers will uh, certainly possibly be coming in uh, 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 very, very positive for investors. Chimizy. And the bottom line is the market will close positive today. Thank you, Temple. Well, that's a wrap on the show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chimizy Obi Iwago.